Hello, listeners, and welcome to the Wild Scientist podcast series, where we share current scientific findings in the paleoanthropology community to the public. And we are your hosts, Lucas Capstra and Lillian Kell. Lucas and I are both currently anthropology undergrad students at Illinois State University. Today, we are discussing DNA shotgun sequencing and what this means to the world of paleoanthropological research, specifically from the peer reviewed article journal on genome scale sequencing and analysis of human, wolf, and bison DNA from 25,000 year old sediment. So, let's start with what exactly is DNA shotgun sequencing and how it works. For thousands of years, cave sediments preserve ancient DNA. From these sediments, researchers can determine DNA sequences from the genomes found in the sediment. Genomes contain all of the information needed to build a certain organism. So by rebuilding the DNA, researchers can figure out what species the genomes came from. Shotgun sequencing is done in a laboratory setting and is the technique for determining DNA sequence of an organism's genome. Uh, The method involves breaking the genome into a collection of small DNA fragments that are sequenced individually. So this means that when skeletal material is not available, like bones and teeth, we can still find the presence or absence of an agent species in a particular area. Technology like this can uh, uncover populations of humans and animals otherwise previously unknown, which can change our entire human history as we know it. What they found in a 25,000-year-old Upper Paleolithic sediment sample taken from the Sarblia cave was a human genome with Eurasian ancestry, a wolf genome of Caucasian lineage, and a bison genome that extends to present-day populations. The Sarblia cave is located in the country of Georgia, which is at the intersection of Eastern Europe and Western Asia. From this, they also found evidence to support the presence of multiple humans and wolves. The data is consistent to a human female or possibly multiple, along with multiple wolves. Even crazier, the human group has contributed to present-day populations across Asia and Europe by comparing modern-day human DNA. They discovered so much information on not only the species, but as well as the populations that once inhabited the area thousands of years ago. In another article using DNA shotgun sequencing, titled, Accurate Sex Identification of Ancient Human Remains Using DNA Shotgun Sequencing, this method has been used to accurately determine the biological sexes of ancient human remains. They are also using this to critically test hypotheses about social structure and prehistoric societies. So this information is not only being used for solely just DNA scientific data, but also being used to learn more about ancient culture, social settings, and even present-day lineages. This process involves many scientific methods and is much more time consuming than DNA sequencing from remains such as bones, but this allows us to be able to piece the information together which results in findings that we never would have thought possible without those larger remains. This serves as an alternative to searching for entire skeletons, which are now most likely gone. This groundbreaking study has shown that we can still learn so much about ancient DNA without those skeletal remains. However, shotgun sequencing can't always tell us everything we want to know, so we can come with some limitations. In the case for this article, they were unable to determine whether the bison genome was of an individual or of multiple bison, as well as unable to determine the exact sexes of the wolf and bison DNA, although this suggests that it may have been both. The advancement of these scientific areas have given scientists new understanding of the human past, which will continue to increase our knowledge of natural history for years to come. Who knows what kinds of things we can discover about the ancient human populations using this method. These current findings could just be a fraction of what is yet to be uncovered. We may even be able to find a never-before-seen human or animal species, possibly another common ancestor to us humans. The scientific methods such as DNA shotgun sequencing may also help us find out which species live together at the same time in areas such as uh, Neanderthals and Denisovans. This has been a brief summary of genome scale DNA shotgun sequencing, and we thank you for listening. I'm Lillian Kell. And I'm Lucas Capstrand. Tune in with us next time on the Wild Scientist podcast series.